Well, I guess this will be the last one I cut for tonight. Kind of reluctant. I want to keep going, but it's getting really late. Uh, counting down Billboard's Hot 100, Mr. DJ is the week of June 15th, 1963 at number 88. Third week on the chart. It will only get as high as number 88. That is it, unfortunately. First week on the chart, it was 91. Debuted at 91. The, the second week, it was at 89. And then moved up one notch to 88. A soulful tune. This guy sounds a lot like Jackie Wilson. His name was Joe Hinton. Originally from Mississippi. Clarksdale, Mississippi, he moved to Evansville, Indiana. He got married and started a family. He also got into gospel singing. He sang in several gospel groups, including the Blair Gospel Singers. Then he ran into a producer. His name was Don Roby. Don Roby suggested, hey, why don't you try to do some secular music? Let's see if we can get some hit records if you go towards the secular side. So uh, Joe Hinton, he signed up with Peacock Records. That was Don Roby's record label. And uh, this was in 1958, but it wasn't until late 1963. Well, the summer of 63 before he charted. And that's the song I'm going to play for you right now called You Know It Ain't Right at number 88. And it, that's it. Only got as high as number 88. But no worry. A year later, in the summer of 1964, Joe Hinton would have his biggest hits. Uh, biggest hit is called Funny. Although the real title is called Funny How Time, Time Slips Away. It was written by Willie Nelson. Joe Hinton took it up to number 13 in 1964. But we're in the summer of 1963 right now, and this is Joe Hinton. You know it ain't right, baby. <laughs> 